This one's from Trevor in Bentonville. I'm in my 50s and trying to repair my retirement savings after a divorce. What advice do you have specifically for people like me who feel like they got the rug swept out from under them as they should be more confident about nearing retirement? Trevor, thanks for that. And yes, that can be a big hit that you didn't see coming, uh, depending on how the assets were uh, settled upon, we'll call call that. And we don't know that. But typically, because of the question, John, I think he, he probably was subject to some sort of of order that uh, that that gave some of the investments to his ex-spouse. Yeah, there are no set rules in how assets are divided up. It is totally 100% up to the parties and the judge to reach an agreement about that. Now, sometimes the judge comes in and goes, look, this is what I'm going to do because this is the fair thing to do, and judges get to do that because they wear the black robe. But there are times when they will split a 401k plan in some proportion, usually it's 50-50, but in some proportion. But all the other assets come into play here as well. The judge is making sort of a global decision about what is fair in splitting those assets. And so what you can have is a situation where someone becomes subject to what is called a qualified domestic relations order, a QDRO, or as we call it, a quadro in in uh, investment vernacular. Uh, and that is an agreement between the parties that one gives up a portion, maybe half of their 401k to their ex-spouse. Now, they what they actually do is they the 401k company is required by law to create a, a an additional account in the name of the ex-spouse so that money transfers over and even though that ex-spouse has never been an employee of that company they have a 401k account at that company because of the qualified domestic relations order now the distribution of that money to the individual they can roll it over into an ira or they can pay taxes on that money and take it out uh, but that is how a, a qualified domestic relations order uh, works out it is more common that in where you've got inequity in assets i, I think there's oftentimes where you know he's got this and she's got that and, and she doesn't have as much as he does so we're going to chop on the 401k to make make things equal or, or fair, if you will. Uh, but there is a, a whole process that the courts go through and the divorce attorneys go through to do a qualified domestic relations order. But it does hurt. I've seen people go through this. Mm -hmm. Trevor in Bentonville, I, I feel for you because you're getting hit at, in your 50s and you're close to retirement and that really does scramble the situation yeah and on the other side of this trevor we don't know how you sit currently like what what asset level you're at when you plan to retire how much income you're going to need but i would begin to first say that it's time to update your plan because this actually could create an opportunity if you think about it too and i know that's hard to believe but i mean what i mean by that is this if you had a plan, and if you didn't, I would say create one, but this is an opportunity to update your plan. If you had a retirement income plan that was built around a household, two people, two spouses in retirement, then it is likely that you're not going to need as much income in retirement if you remain single now as opposed to when you were married. The other thing I would say is when it comes to the opportunity is who was the higher earner in the marriage? Were you working and your spouse stayed at home or made a lot less than you and you were supporting the household? If that was the case, then you obviously have fewer expenses, hopefully, uh, with the, the, the spouse being gone from the household. So and you're still making, we assume, the same amount of money. So that can create more margin with the opportunity being you could have more money to contribute to begin to catch up on those retirement savings. And Scott, I would also say, Trevor, don't allow this to compound your problems. So your mindset about this, how you react to this, feeling behind the eight ball, so to speak, yeah. uh, could compound your problems if you're not careful. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to say, okay, it is what it is. I am where I am. 
I'm going to take charge of the situation. And I would really greatly encourage you to reach out to a financial advisor. You can reach out to us here at GenWealth if you'd like to, uh, but reach out to a financial advisor and sit down and say, okay, I am kind of starting over to some extent, but I'm starting over with half the money that I, I used to have. How can we get back to a good spot? Because it is all about creating income for you at retirement. It is really about replacing your paycheck when you're ready to quit working. Mm. So you need to think about it in those terms and say, okay, this is where I'm at. This is the job that I've got to do. You can't change it. You can't go back and undo the quadro. The court's not going to allow that to happen. But there is still time for you to work. If you're in your 50s, you may not be retiring until 65 or 70 years old, quite frankly. And, and a lot of people are putting off retirement for a long period of time simply because they just don't know what else they're going to do. So let's take a look at the situation, assess everything, and start again because time is of the essence. I've never been through this, John, but when you sit and think about it, it can have the same effects as a huge market loss yes. on your assets, right? Because you're if you're focused on the account value alone, we had people like that coming into the office in 2022. I have 25% less than I had at the beginning of the year, right? If they bring in their statement from their 401k. And, and Trevor's in the same boat, but you can't focus on the account value. You need to focus on a plan for income. And it, and it may not be as bad as you, as you think once you have that plan in place. 